children, it's nice to be back with you once again. Let's begin today's session with a song on shapes. I'm a sphere, I'm a sphere. How can you tell? How can you tell? I'm like the surface of a ball, surface of a ball. I am a sphere. I'm a cone, I'm a cone, how can you tell, how can you tell, I have a fly at base and a point call it fix, I am a cone, I am a cone. I am a cylinder, I am a cylinder, how can you tell, how can you tell, two circular surfaces and a curved surface, I am a cylinder, I am a cylinder. I am a prism, I am a prism, how can you tell, how can you tell, have seen parallels. Surfaces. I am a prison. I am a prison. Children, I hope you enjoyed the song. Okay, now tell me, do you remember what we learned yesterday? Yes, we learned shapes, cylinder, and prison. Now, Let's once again revise the two shapes and see some pictures of cylinder and prism shaped object to help you to understand them better. Shape Cylinder A cylinder is a three-dimensional shape consisting of two parallel circular shaped flat surfaces joined by a curved surface. In this picture you can see a mug, a log of wood, a drum, a bin and many more objects. All these are cylinder in shape as the top and the bottom are parallel and flat and the middle portion is curved. Shape Prism A prism is a three-dimensional object with same parallel ends and has flat surfaces. In this picture you can see a tent a slab of chocolate, a slice of cheese, etc. All these objects are prism in shape as the ends are same, they are equidistant from each other and the surfaces are all flat. Now that you have learned all about the cylinder and prism, let us make a prism. Children, are you all ready? Let's begin. First, take a rectangular piece of paper whose length is 8 inches and breadth is 3 inches. Draw two lines at one inch interval. Now, wherever the lines are drawn, fold your paper as I do. Now, Take cello tape and stick 
both the ends and the center with the cello tape and it should look like a triangle. Take a piece of paper of 4 by 4 inches and put one end of the triangle on the paper and draw the outline to form a triangle. Similarly, draw another triangle. Now, cut out the triangles you drew. Take cello tape and stick it to the long triangle and close the mouth of the triangle both sides. Prism is ready. So children, hope you enjoyed making the prism. Can you see? All the sides are flat. They are parallel and at equidistant. While a cylinder has a curved and flat surface, so it cannot be called a prism. But a prism has only flat surfaces. So children, that's all for today.